Oh, hey guys, it's Matt, aka Thanatos, and I am not used to having to press my button on the camera. Um, surprise, I got my camera back. I also no longer have a beard, so if you were watching my videos specifically for my facial hair, then uh, you can go ahead and walk away now, because unfortunately, um, and fortunately, I, uh, I flew down to Florida this past weekend to visit my family, and I had a reserve weekend, so facial hair had to come off, so that sucks. But I did get my camera back. Um, haven't quite figured out how I'm going to set this all up because doing this in front of a camera without my table uh, or my desk is kind of strange, so um, I might do some rearranging. So this is a preliminary run for now. Um, figure I'm going to do a long-awaited upgrade video. Um, I posted a upgrade on my Instagram um, and I haven't gotten around to showing you guys. Uh, and then I've also got a book that came from CBCS uh, through Trinity Comics um, a while back that I just didn't want my wife to send me. So I um, picked that up while I was in Florida. And then on my way up to Florida, I stopped by Mile High Comics to pick up a book that I saw on their website, um, which is strange. I'm not usually a guy that buys from Mile High Comics. Uh, amazing store, but a little overpriced. Um, however, this was priced well under what I've seen any of them on eBay for, and it, you'll see, um, kind of unusual for me. I don't think I've ever shown a comic like this before, but uh, it's a comic cover that I really like, so well, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead, uh, let's go with, I'll save the upgrade for last because it is, it's big. So firstly, on my way up to, I've had this on, my, I've actually, it was on their eBay, and I told them like, I would, hey, I, I'll buy it off your eBay if you just, um, Mile High Comics, if you just refund me the shipping later or change it, and they were like, yeah, that's cool. So uh, it does have some dimples in it, but these are all pressable defects. This would probably be like a 9.6. Okay, I'm not that great of a grader. 9.2 or above. I don't see any spine ticks on the front or back. It's just these little like weird dimples. Um, this is a Vengeance of Vampirilla number one. Um, it is the gold edition, which was limited to 500. And it's a wraparound cover. Um, I'll actually pull it out and show you guys. So here we have the front and then the booty. One of my favorite covers. I saw this on the CBCS forum a while back, and uh, I do like that gorilla. Best boobs in the business. Um, and I, I don't know why I had never seen this cover before. It's by uh, Palmati, and I don't want to wreck that name. Um, but um, the guy on CBCS had a royal blue cover, which is supposed to be super rare, uh, limited to like 100 or so. And I, you can find them on eBay right now. Um, there's a couple, and they're like five thousand dollars. And I picked this up, and most of these are on eBay for seventy-five or above. I got this for nineteen ninety-five, so um, I was really happy. I rushed up to to Denver to pick this up at Mile High Comics. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to walk around, but I managed to pick this up, and then I got to my flight on time. So. Way to go me. Denver Airport, by the way, terrible. What a crazy airport. Um, if you haven't, if you're interested in, like, I don't know, uh, conspiracy theories and stuff, look up the Denver International Airport conspiracy theories. They're crazy. Uh, and, like, their horse statue is terrifying. Um, people call it Blucifer. It's, it's a murderous giant statue horse. It's crazy. So, Vengeance the Vampirilla number one, beautiful cover. And then in Florida, I picked this up from the wife. This was, uh, I got this through Trinity Comics, Wonder Woman number 31. Um, you actually saw in one of my previous videos, I had bought two of these and one of them had a spine tick and the other one, um, I honestly thought was gonna be a 9.8 and luckily, I still had it pressed, uh, luckily came back a 9.8 signed by Gal Gadot um, this is the convention exclusive variant, her foil cover. 
don't know if you can, how well you can see that or if it's too close, too far. I really should get like an extra kind of like thing so I can see what the hell I'm videotaping. I mean, I might not even be in the frame right now. Um, I was originally skeptical. I, I, I didn't really want this book. I mean, I love Wonder Woman. I love Gal Gadot. But uh, I didn't want to pay the the, the price, really, was, was what kind of held me back um, for getting her signature. Um, but I figure if I could get this signed, get a 9.8, and then put it up on eBay or sell it, um, could help me get a another key issue, Silver Age key issue, that I might want. So um, mostly did this for the flip, which is kind of unlike me. Um, so if anyone is interested, this is available. Um, super cool foil cover. I'm a little sad. It looks like a, her pen was running out of ink when she got to mine. So a little unfortunate, but still really cool to have. Really glad I got a 9.8. I was pretty nervous about getting a 9.6 potentially. Um, all right. So before I do the upgrade reveal, I'm going to show you um, at Ed's Cards and Comics the, the my my new designated LCS that I've I've chosen. I'm going to do a comic haul for Ed's car, Cards and Comics um, probably later this week. But I did manage to pick up uh, this Heroes of the DC Universe Blackest Night Green Lantern Sinestro bust from them. Um, they were doing like 20% off, so I got this cheaper than what I would have paid on. E, uh, Amazon, um, pretty cool little little bust. And I'm showing this to you for a reason, and I'm sure you guys can all guess if you've seen my Instagram or anything. Um, I've never actually had a bust or any Sinestro, Sinestro statues or anything, so this is kind of cool. I guess I'll pull it out for you guys. Or super in there. <laughs> sitting around. While I'm here, so on my drive last night from the Denver internet, I got in around midnight and uh, on my drive um, I put my phone on my little stand and to keep myself awake, I was watching YouTube videos of comic book calls. And I watched um, Long Box Love Affair. $160 picked up, uh, or yeah, $150 something dollars for 160 comics. And uh, he had a Hawkman 4, a giant size X Men number one, like crazy books. I saw him preview it on his Instagram. And congrats, man. That's super awesome. Like, I paid way more than I, I mean, I didn't pay too much, but if I could get Hawkman number four for a dollar, I would have been super happy. That's just, it's got some weight to it. So here is, oh, this looks really nice. I was not expecting this to be kind of as cool as it is. Here's some Green Lantern Sinestro action. A little bust. He looks mean. I don't know how close I can get that. <laughs> Hope it's focused. If this video is not focused, it's gonna be terrible. So I am planning on keeping this guy. So my plan is once I once I move into a house, which should be here this summer, um, I want a basement. And I want to make a comic book room, um, you know, just you know, a man cave because I don't have as many comics to like decorate and stuff with. But um, I'd like to get like my Showcase 22 with a Hal, I have a Hal Jordan little statue. Um, I don't want a sideshow statue because those things are crazy expensive and massive. I didn't realize how massive they were, but I hope that I can eventually just get um, a little display case with all like my big keys and kind of a little figure next to them because I think that's really cool. So anyway. To go along with 
Sinestro here. I, with the help of a few friends, um, got a pretty big upgrade. Um, I sold my Green Lantern number no. seven in a 4.0 on Facebook, uh, well under GPA, but I only needed a certain amount of money to make this flip happen or this this upgrade happen. Um, so I was just like, I just want to get rid of it. Um, so I can snag this before someone else does because this was on my comic shop uh, originally for five hundred and twenty five dollars and uh, I already wanted it because so the GPA was over 550 ish like 560 so 525 was already under it um, and then I and I was like, I'd just be happy with my 4.0, I don't need it, and it dropped down to 475, and I, I couldn't, so all in all, this came out to 499, well under the GPA for it, this is a Green Lantern number 7 and a 7.0 with off-white pages, it is the first appearance and origin of Sinestro, um, and the weaponers of uh, there's weaponers of cord and pie face appearance, um, but between showcase 22 and this, I would have a really hard time to deciding which is my favorite book. Um, this is my first uh, like higher end uh, Silver Age comic. Like uh, most of my Silver Age books are all 5.0 or on and under. Um, so having this in a 7.0 makes me super happy. It is beautiful. Uh, one thing I did notice, and I found out that it is actually like a printing error, and you can f you can see like even a nine point there's like a nine point two Green Lantern number seven that has this down here at the bottom. It almost looks like there's a stain of some sort, like it looks like some dirt, um, and it is not specific to this copy. It is across the board for a lot of these Green Lantern number sevens. Um, some of them don't have it, some of them do, and I know people some people prefer it with or without. Um, typically without, but I don't care. It's a 7.0, and Sinestro is my favorite character. Um, I'm not too sure if I can show you or not, but and I haven't showcased this before, so I'll, we'll see. I don't want to put my foot on this. I actually have a Sinestro tattoo. <laughs> My only comic book tattoo, I have tattoos everywhere, but this is my only comic book tattoo of Green Lantern and Sinestro. Favorite, favorite comic book character. Um, so anyway, here's the big upgrade. 7.0 Green Lantern number 7. Um, this is going to be here forever. I'm going to have this forever. So, anyway. Let me know guys if you have any suggestions on how I should set this camera up, if you like this angle or if you prefer me a little closer or higher or behind a desk, if you like the wallpaper, um, open to suggestions. And again, um, don't forget to hit the like button, not the down like button, up like button, and uh, subscribe and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I just got to turn this off.